I know uh, there's some stories about when your grandfather was, um, when he was staying, well he wasn't really, he was kind of on the road, he was a peanut vendor. And this was before he met grandma. Yes, this was before he met your grandmother. Maybe you don't want to get into that now. No, that's, that's fine. fine. Yeah. And he was a peanut vendor on the, on the train, but the old thing is when he wanted to travel, even before he became a peanut vendor, when he wanted to travel, nobody had money to travel on the trains, or, you know, or the stagecoach or whatever. And uh, so he started tramping the trains. And, uh, and in those days they had racks underneath the railroad cars, you know, to actually lay on those racks. They don't have those racks anymore. And so, uh, but, uh, <clears throat> so he said, well, that's the best way to do it. And so he started doing that, and he didn't really know how to do it. And he needed to go to, I don't know, he was going to go come to San Francisco. No, I don't know where he was going. And, or going to Barstow, I don't know. So, anyway, he got out there, and he he was trying to get on one of those things. And, and he finally did get one on one of them, almost killing himself. And because you have to, you can't catch him inside the railroad yard because the, the railroad detectives would, would catch him, put you in jail. So you have to catch him, to, you have to catch the freight coming out of the, the railroad yard after it leaves the yard. And by that time, the train is maybe doing 15 miles an hour or so, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of cases and, or more. So there is where you have to take and throw yourself on the, underneath there and and throw yourself onto that that rack. Yeah. Well, I mean, he didn't know how to do it. So anyway, he um, so happens that he got in a little camp there or something. And there was this great big huge black man, <clears throat> and for some reason he accused your grandfather of stealing his shoes. Well, I mean, there's no way in the world that your grandfather's shoes would have fit that man. You know, because he, was, he wasn't that big a guy. He, well, he was about five. I guess he was about five nine. You know, yeah, five eight. But uh, he 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 told the guy. He told that black man. He says, I, "I didn't steal your shoes." He says, "Oh yes, you did. You stole." He said, and he wanted to kill him. He was. He said, "I'm going to kill you." And he says, "Well, hell." He says, "He says, okay. I'll tell you what." He says, "If." You have to give me a chance. He says, now, if these shoes, because you had a good new pair of shoes, if these shoes fit you, he says, you just kill me right on the spot, right there. And, uh, and okay, so he said, the black man tried to put them on. Well, naturally, his foot was so big, Mike, you know, and your dad's foot wasn't that big. So he said, well, yeah, you're right. He said, I, I thought it was you that stole my shoes because you had new shoes on. And he said, I just bought my shoes. But somebody stole him. And he says, you know, I like you. He says, I like you, Manuel. He says, um, he says, I notice how you're trying to tramp those trains. And he says, you're going to get killed the way you're doing it. He says, I'm going to show you how to do it. He says, I've been doing this for years. So he showed your grandpa how to do that. And that's how he learned how to tramp on the trains. And um, He was coming from Arizona or something like that? No, he... He, I, I believe he was. I believe he was going he, to San Francisco. Yeah, I guess so. It might have been at that time. But the other thing, the old thing is he, he was a peanut vendor too. He used to, you know, he worked for the Southern Pacific Railroad. And peanut vendor in those days was, uh, he was like his own private contractor. But uh, peanut vendor was a man on the, on, the, on the train. He used to go up and down the cars inside. and Selling peanuts and so on. Yeah, yeah selling peanuts and candy and... Uh, uh, cigars and, and you know and chewing tobacco and all that stuff you know yeah. and he used to go from I think he said he used to go from Barstow I don't know it was from Barstow to San Francisco from Barstow to down south someplace but anyway um, he did that for a long time you know. so,